Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Mostly Programming. My name is Vivek Garg and this is lesson 28 of learning Python scripting from scratch. In today's video, we are going to discuss about array methods in Python. This is the part one of the video. The scope for today's lesson is we are going to discuss about the various type codes that are available uh, to create arrays. Some of the inbuilt array methods. The first method that we are going to discuss is the type code method. The second is the item size method, then the buffer info method, the append method, the count method, the extend method, remove and the reverse method. Also, I'm going to give you an assignment question in today's video. So without any further ado, let's get started. But before that, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do that right now because it's free. Also press the bell icon so that you never miss an update from mostly programming. Do follow us on Instagram because we come up with new practice sessions and quiz on a daily basis. So follow us on Instagram. It is at the rate mostly programming. Let's get started. The type codes. If you can recall in the lesson number 26, we created an array which was of integer type and there we mentioned the type code as small i which is a signed int. Python type int, C type signed int and Python type int. So similarly, we can create arrays of all these type codes, all, all these types. We can have a signed character and for that we would be using small b. For unsigned character, we would be using capital B. For pi unicode, we would be using small u. For signed short, we would be using h, small h. For unsigned short, you will be getting, uh, we, we will be using capital H. For signed int small i, unsigned int capital I. Signed long we would be using small l, unsigned long we would be using capital L, for signed long long we would be using small q, unsigned long long we would be using q, for float we would be using f and for double we would be using d. This is the mem uh, minimum size in bytes. This may vary according to your PC configuration 32 bit or 64 bit. See in uh, 32 bit integer size signed integer size is two bits but in 64 bits it's four bit four bytes sorry not bits four bytes i hope the type codes are now clear you can create any type of array that you want mostly we would be using signed integer unsigned integer float and double but you can also create with characters or unicode character I hope the type codes are now clear. So the next topic that we are going to discuss is the array methods in Python, which are the inbuilt array methods. So the first method that we are going to discuss is the type code method, which returns the type code of the array. For example, if we have created an integer type array, then the type code method would return us I. If we have uh, created a float type array, then it would return us float F. The next method is the item size method, which returns us the length in bytes of one array item in the internal representation. This basically means that if we have created an integer type array, then it would return us the size of one item. That means if one particular, if suppose there is an array 2, 3, 4, 5, then it would return us the size of an item that is it would return as a size of 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 which would be 4 bytes for 64 bit PC. Append X method. Append a new item with the value X to the end of an array. It is used to add a value at the end of an array. Similarly, we have buffer info method. Buffer info method return a tuple which has two items. One is the address where that particular array is stored and the another is the length of the array giving the current memory address and the length in the elements of the buffer used to hold array contents. Count x, return the number of occurrence of x in array. For example, if we have an array 5, 6, 7, 8, 5, then if I want to count the number of occurrences of 5 in that particular array, I would use the count method. Don't worry, we are going to do this all practically. I'm just going giving you a brief right now. The extend method. Append items from iterable to the end of the array. If iterate, iterable is another array, it must have exactly same type. Extend method is basically used to extend an array. 
For example, if we have an array 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and we want to extend the array by itself, then we would use the extend method, then the array would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If we need to add another array to our array, then that particular array should have the same type. Don't worry, I'll show you this practically. The reverse method. The reverse method reverses the order of the items in the array. It is pretty simple. Remove method removes the first occurrence of x from the array. Right. Let's see them practically one at a time. Let's go to PyCharm. Okay. So from array import star. Right. Then I would create an array named ARR. Then the array here. Then what I would do is simply this time I'm going to create an array of the type code capital I. Now what is capital I? We'll see that from here. So capital I basically represents an unsigned integer. That means if even if I'm going uh, giving here minus one, sorry, this is unsigned one comma two comma three comma four comma five comma six. Suppose I consider this array. Then when I try to print this array, hold on a second. When I try to print this array, it is printed because it is an unsigned array. But what if I change one of the elements to minus 4? Then it would give me an error because we have taken an unsigned integer array but we are giving it a signed integer. So it won't work. Right. Let's get back to our methods now. So the methods that we are going to use today, the first method is the type code method type code method this would return us the type of the array which we already know is unsigned integer so capital I right uh, in this way we can return we can have the type code of the array the next method that we are going to use is the buffer info method buffer underscore info and a parenthesis this particular method would return us the address and the length of the array. See, we have six elements, so length is six. And this particular thing right here is the address of the array. Right. The next method that I want to show you here is the item size method. Item size method would return us the size of the capital I, which is the unsigned integer. So it is four bytes. In if you have a 32-bit PC, then it would be 2 bytes and if you have a 64-bit PC, it would be 4 bytes. So these three were the basic um, methods that we use with arrays. Okay, now let's raise the scale here and we are going to use append method now. What would the append method do? It would add an element which we are specifying here in the parenthesis it would add that element to the array but where at the end but it is giving us none why so because the syntax differs a little we can't do it inside the print statement itself we have what we have to do is we have to append it to the array and then print the array. We can't do it in the same statement itself. It is the syntax. So yes, you can see that 6 is now added at the end of the array. Right. The next method that we are going to use is the reverse method. The reverse method basically reverses the array. Reverse. Right. I reverse the array. Then I'm going to simply print the array. So we can see that the array is reversed now. Pretty easy, right? What if I try to do it within the same statement, like printing it and yeah. So it would return us none and the array reversed because only this thing would reverse the array. This particular thing would not reverse the array. We can't reverse the array and print it in the same statement itself. Right. So the next method is the remove method. Array dot remove. What do I want to remove? Say 4 or 5. Then print the array. Let's see if it is working fine. 
so we have successfully removed five from the array what other methods are there let me just see we have covered the type code method the item size method the append method the buffer info method the extend method is left and the count method is left these are really important methods just pay a little attention now so let's go for the count method first but for that i would have another sixes here and let me add one more six here let me show you one more thing about the remove method first remove six now there are several sixes inside the array now guess which six would be removed yes the first occurrence of six would be removed from the array let me just show you that here array and we can see that this particular six after three is removed from the array because the remove method removes the first occurrence of the element which is passed to it okay so the next is the count method so i want to count the number of sixes here print count x sorry six so let me run this now so we would get four because there are six sixes but what if i write seven there is no seven so what would it return zero because there are no seven in this particular array now the last method which we are going to discuss is the extend method which is the most important and useful method if we talk about these methods that we have discussed today so what does the extend method do is it extends an array if i'm going to extend an array with the, the same array itself then it uh, we would do it like this array dot extend with what the array in the parenthesis we would pass this then i would simply print here array let me see so we can see that the array is extended by itself one two three six four five six 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 one two three six four five six 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 right what if i want to create uh, i have another array say array two right i have an array two and that is of the integer type and i have given these elements to it and i want to extend these both arrays is it possible let's try with the extend method extend array two and then i'm simply going to print it array and we get an error which is like you can guess it easily the type error because the type codes are different here so while extending an array with another array another unique array or different array we must make sure that the type code of both these arrays are same if i want to extend these array here i will have to change the type code of either of the arrays so now it is extended i hope it is clear now so if you have any type of queries feel free to ask me in the comment section below wait 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 i forgot about the assignment question so let's see what is our assignment question for today so the assignment question is to reverse an array without using the inbuilt functions or methods yes you have to reverse an array manually i'm going to give you a little hint it has something to do with the swapping how to swap two numbers if you don't know how to do that check our previous video i will link it somewhere here in the description or you will get some card here so check that video out it has to do something with the swapping so you have to write a program manually to reverse an array without using any inbuilt functions or methods don't worry if you are unable to write the code i'll discuss it in the next video itself so if you have any type of queries feel free to ask me in the comment section below or you can even dm me on my social media accounts the link to those will be in the description box itself if you like the video give it a thumbs up also share with your friends and subscribe to my channel because your subscriptions give me motivation to make more such videos thank you very much for watching stay tuned for more amazing content